Welcome back. We're uh, continuing to play with pedigrees, and this time we're doing one with a sex-linked trait because it works there too. We're working with hemophilia, a sex-linked recessive disorder, so we've seen this before. We know that there's an X big H allele, which is the normal one. There's a defective version of that X little h, which produces hemophilia. And then there's the Y chromosome, which doesn't have either of those things on it. So, what can we fill in about the individuals in this chart? The ones filled in are the ones who have hemophilia, excuse me, and notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six males with hemophilia and zero females, so yeah, that's about right. So this is what sex-linked traits normally look like. The males get clobbered, and it's very rare for a female to pick up a sex-linked trait because they have that backup X chromosome. So, anytime we have an affected male, they must be X little h, Y, and I'm going to be writing that six times in total. X little h, Y, X little h, Y, and two more. Okay. For all the females, we can put two X's. We know that about them at least. We don't know which hemophilia alleles they have associated with them yet, but we can at least take care of the the sex side of it. Now, the fact that these females do not have hemophilia, none of them, means they must all have one copy of the normal allele at minimum, so I can put one big H on each normal female. That's what's keeping them from having hemophilia. Are they carriers? Could be. We'll see in a bit. Big H and big H. Uh, very small writing, sorry about that. Okay. Color switch. What can we deduce now looking at children? to figure out what some of these parents are about. Here we have the grandfather who had hemophilia. What can you tell me about, say, his daughter here? And about her X chromosomes? What did she get from her dad? Well, she didn't get the Y chromosome, or she'd be a son instead of a daughter. That means if you're if you're a girl, you got an X chromosome from your dad, and dad's X chromosome contains the little H allele. So this daughter's X chromosome must have a little H on it because it came from her father. And that's true for her older sister here, and it's true for her baby sister over here. All of them have a little H because they had to get something from their father. It wasn't the Y chromosome because that would have made them male. So it had to be this. Now, uh, for the sons, we see something else. Look at this son and tell me what you, what you see. Where did these two chromosomes come from? Which one came from which parent? Well, in general, only wa only males have Y chromosomes, so this Y came from Dad, which means this XH, gasp, had to come from Mom. Dad is the natural suspect because he has hemophilia, but that's not where this came from. If a son has an X-linked condition, the X came from his mother. The Y came from his dad, that's why he's a male, so this XH had to come from Grandma. X, little h, like that. So, with that, we use some start from grandparent and work down, and we use some start from a kid and work up, and now we've pretty much got this whole branch of the family tree under control. Let's see what we can do with this branch where 
someone new married into the family. Uh, well, starting with Grandpa worked well here. Let's start with the, the father here. Does this tell us anything about his kids? Here's his daughters. What did he give them? It wasn't a Y chromosome, or they'd be sons. It had to be the X. If you're if you're a female, you got an X chromosome from your dad, and dad's X chromosome carries the hemophilia allele. So, both of his daughters are guaranteed to be carriers because they have his X chromosome. They're both okay because they have capital H, but they're carrying and may pass on the hemophilia allele. Uh, we know the genotypes for these two sons. That's fine. They got the Y chromosome from their dad, and oh wait, this is the same thing again. When a dad with hemophilia has sons with hemophilia, you think, well, yeah, of course, their dad had it, he gave it to them. But no, that's not how it works. A son got his Y chromosome from his dad, and hemophilia is on the X. So if these sons have this, it didn't come from their dad. It came from mom. This has to be a little H. Okay, so for any kid, you can look at these G, these, sorry, not genes, chromosomes, and say, which parent did each of these come from? And w if you're working with A's or B's, that's not obvious, but with sex chromosomes, it generally is obvious. This one had to come from dad, this one came from the mom, and you can use that to fill in spaces that you might not be able to otherwise. So this was a fairly total victory. We have total certainty about all these genotypes. So just as a victory lap, let's fill in these spaces at the bottom. Generation 1, individual 1, is Grandpa. He's X little HY. Generation 1, individual 2, is Grandma. She's heterozygous. Generation 2, individual 1, is the lady who married into the family, and she turned out to be heterozygous also. Generation 2, individual 6. So this is generation 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is X little hy. Only way you can be if you're a male with hemophilia. Generation 3, individual 1 is a carrier woman. And generation 3, individual 3, 1, 2, 3 is a hemophiliac male. And then they throw out a bonus question at the end here. What is the way a female can be affected with hemophilia? We've, I think we've seen this before, but let's run it again. If you are a female, your sex chromosomes look like this. If you have hemophilia, you have a little h and another little h. That means each of your parents contributed one of those little h's. One of these parents was your mom, who has another X chromosome, and one of these parents was your dad, who had a Y chromosome. So looking at this, this mom is a carrier, at least. She might have hemophilia just like her daughter, in which case she would have been guaranteed to pass on X little h, or she could be heterozygous, that's probably more likely, and still passed on the little h and the other little h would have come from dad. So for a daughter to have hemophilia, her dad has to have it, and her mom has to either have it or be a carrier.